Hi everyone, today's video is a transformation for a girl's night out including makeup and hair. I'm using the Batiste by Ella Henderson Dry Shampoo to create this really easy hairstyle, so make sure you stay tuned after the makeup to see it. I wanted really glowy skin for the night, so I'm starting off with my L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer and just placing that all over my face and it gives a really nice glow underneath the foundation. For tonight's makeup, I'm mixing in this Liquid Illuminator by Astralis. It is the gold one. And I'm mixing it with my designer brand Full Coverage Foundation, which as you can see is full coverage. I absolutely love this foundation. It lasts a long time. It does have a little bit of flashback, but it's nothing to be worried about. <laughs> so I'm applying it with a brush and then going over with a damp beauty sponge by Chi Chi. Now going in with concealer. I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm just placing it underneath my eyes, down my nose, forehead and chin. Blending it out a little bit with my fingers first and then going over with my beauty sponge and blending it all into the foundation so it looks all nice and seamless. I'm using this concealer because it is nice and thin and it does provide a good amount of coverage to cover up my dark circles and I'm using a lighter colour to highlight. Setting that with the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder, picking it up on the sponge also. I just love the finish that this gives. It just sets the concealer flawlessly and it doesn't move at all. Now I'm using the darkest brown colour to set the rest of my face. I'm patting it on first and then I'm going to use a buffing motion. So in circular motions I'm going to buff it into the skin and make sure everything's set perfectly. Of course I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow to shape my brows and fill them in. And then I'm going to actually set them with this L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. This is in the darker colour, but I like how it gives them a bit of texture as well as setting them in place. Time for bronzing. I'm using this Makeup Forever Bronzing. This is in 35i, I think it is. So I'm going around the edges of my face and also along my cheekbones and jawline and just warming up my skin tone. I'm also going to contour my nose by taking the bronzer on this smaller brush and just in really light motions, uh, drawing my nose on a little bit thinner than it usually is. So it gives the illusion of a smaller nose. Now for contouring, I'm using NARS Laguna bronzer to do this and I'm taking on my NARS Eye to Brush and just mainly focusing on my jawline and also my cheekbones. I'm creating that nice shape there because I wanted a bit of a dramatic look because it is a girl's night out. e.l.f. blush tonight and it's actually really good. If you haven't tried any of the e.l.f. blushes, I definitely would recommend them. I get mine from iHer for a couple of dollars. Now for Becca Ophel as my highlighter. I can't believe this is so pigmented. Look how much just goes on and I'm not taking much on my brush at all. It is just highlight on fleek. <laughs> Now for my eyes, I'm starting off with the Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base, placing it on my eyelids and then just blending it in with my ring finger and being really gentle with the area. And I'm going in with my Tartlet Palette. I'm taking this crease colour first up and just placing it on my crease, fluffing it around, nothing too neat, just making the colour there um, with this BH Cosmetics uh, Blending Brush. And yeah, just in circular motions, windscreen wiper motions. Um, yeah, I really like this crease color. It's very, it's actually really nice and natural. Now I'm taking this cream color and placing that on the lid and also as a brow bone. I end up going back over the brow bone highlight, but anyway. Now taking this darker brown and I'm going to focus this on my outer V. I'm taking this Real Techniques, I think this is called a base shadow brush. And I'm just working it in on the crease, um, just taking a little bit of product at a time and focus it, focusing it on the outer V and blending as I go, just being really gentle. I'm going to bring it up a little bit just to create a kind of cat eye and then just bring it through the crease a little tiny bit and blend it out. So 
So just keep building up the color until you're happy with it. Now I'm taking the darker brown from the palette and I'm going to take it on a smaller brush. I think this one's an E36 from Sigma, so it's like a tapered blending brush. And I'm going to just focus that and deepen up on the outer V, just on top of the brown that was already there. Again, not taking too much product at one time, just really lightly going in and then once I've got the position of the color right, building it up. Now for the lid color, I'm using a L'Oreal Infallible Pressed Pigment. This is in Amber Rush and it's so pretty. I love it. Just pressing it on with my fingers, I found that that technique works better than a brush. Now going back in with that darker brown crease color, just make sure everything's all blended. Now for my lower lash line, I'm pretty much doing the same, building up those same colors that I used on the crease on the lower lash line. So the crease color and then the medium brown and then the darker brown and just smudging it all out. I did use a clean brush for this to start off with rather than my dirty brush. Tightline and waterline my eyes using this Maybelline Big Eyes eyeliner, just the black side though. So just placing it on my tight line and then waterline. This one's not as pigmented as usually some of the other ones that I've used, but it worked fine and it stayed in place as well. I'm actually obsessed with these pens right now. I'm using the Galactic Beauty uh, liquid eyeliner pen thing whatever it's called, it's, um, I really, really like the technique of just drawing it up and then bringing it back down. It makes a wing super, super easy to do. Like, really, really good. Now I'm taking this Chi Chi Baked Eyeshadow. This is in If I Could Turn Back Time, and I'm highlighting my inner corner and also my brow bone with that. It's a really nice champagne color. I'm using this nude lip liner by Models Prefer and this is so creamy and pigmented. I love the formula of it. It's one of my favorite and, it, and the color is just so pretty as well. So I'm lining my lips and also filling it in for the lip color I'm going to place on top. taking this ultra matte lip color by Savvy and this is in Hollywood. Look at my eyes. I'm just like, whoa, that's bright. <laughs> it always shocks me how bright this one is. And I'm just placing a little bit and mixing it in with that lip liner. Uh, I didn't want it full on color, but I just wanted that peachy coral kind of color to match my nails. <laughs> So I'm going to blend it in with my finger and then I'm going to actually pop some just lip gloss over the top of it because I didn't want it to dry matte, I still wanted quite glossy lips. I have been loving the Model Co Lash and Line Mascara, it's like my favourite at the moment, I absolutely adore it. I'm using this on my top and bottom lashes as usual. Now for lashes, I'm using these Esquido lashes and they look like this. They're so pretty, I love them. They do have a thick band, so you do want to have a bit of eyeliner when you do apply them. So I'm just applying them with the Esquido glue as well, which I actually really, really love their glue. I'd recommend it. Some glues I've tried and not been happy with, but this one has been great. After that, I'm just going to curl my lashes and so that they're nice and open. Moving on to hair, I'm dealing with about three day old hair here, so it needs a bit of a freshen up. You may have noticed this new Batiste dry shampoo by Ella Henderson on our shelves. It is brand new and its scent is sweet vanilla goodness. I just love it. 
I do usually use the medium to brunette as it has a little bit of tint to it for my root colour but tonight I'm going to go with Ella's formula. So you can see me just taking sections and spraying the Batiste Dry Shampoo on the roots of my hair. Now it does have a white cast but don't worry it does fade away. I'm using a brush to brush it all out and you can also use your fingers as well to massage it into your scalp and you'll notice that the white cast does go away. <laughs> I love Batiste because it freshens up my hair and gives my hair loads of volume. So now I'm going to separate my hair and clip in my hair extensions to give me some length. Next I'm just taking my curling wand and curling my hair all the way around my head. It's a really good idea to take the pieces that frame your face and surround your face and curl them separately from the hair extensions. That way they blend in as they have their own natural curl. To finish off the hairstyle, I'm going to spray some Batiste in the lengths of my hair and then scrunch it with my hands. I actually learned this trick from watching Ella's playlist on the Batiste YouTube channel. I've just got the playlist linked in the screen so you can click it and then go watch and I'll also have it linked in the description box so you can watch after the video. So I'm just going to play around and scrunch up my hair and get it all nice and big because I love big hair on a girl's night out. I love big hair in general but anyway, using the Batiste Dry Shampoo has just like freshened up my hair so easily and given it loads of volume as well. I just love it and it makes my hair smell good too. <laughs> so that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's given you a little bit of inspiration for some fancy makeup. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Um, so yeah, see what Crystal's doing. Oh, you look pretty Melfi. Mm, we got ya. And I haven't painted any more toenails, so I've only got three painted. Oh no. Should I paint the others? Nah, you'd be wrong. No one will notice. Mm.